In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to download and install Brother Canvas Workspace software for your PC. Now, you may think that you already have it because you are used to using the web-based version of Canvas Workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that and then show you how you can tell if you're using this version or the version that we're going to install. Now there are many benefits to using the web-based version of Canvas Workspace software. This is what it looks like. And to get to it, you're just going to type in canvasworkspace.brother.com. And then all of the rest just gets typed in for you. So you really just need this part, canvasworkspace.brother.com, and you're going to have the web-based version. Now, I want you to have this version as well. I mean, this is just a version that you don't actually have to install. It's just on the web browser. But the reason this version is important is because this is where you're going to register your machines. And there's my account, Paper Chef. That's my username. And then right here are all the machines I have registered. I have three machines registered. I actually have four scanning cuts, but one is not wireless enabled. So they're all registered under machine registration. And what's really nice about that is when I design in either this software or the other version I'm going to show you, I can send it to all of my machines that are registered with my account. But to really know the difference of if you're not sure, you're not sure if you're in a browser or not in a browser, just go to the help menu and you can see that this version on the web browser is called Canvas Workspace for Web 4.6.4. So that's the version that you should have if you're checking this tutorial right now or something above that. Now, to, to know if you're using an installed version, that's what this looks like. In fact, they both have the projects there. I'm just going to go to the Canvas Workspace installed version about Brother Canvas Workspace. And it says version 2.6.1. And it doesn't say web version, it says Brother Canvas Workspace. Now I'm using a Windows computer, but you can install this on a Mac or Windows computer. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. But there is a reason to have that web-based version. Again, it's to register your machine. And it also when you send things from your machine to Canvas Workspace, it's going to end up being over here in the projects, not in the installed version. So that is why to have, you know, you still want this web-based version. In fact, under my projects, you'll see this, this project here, let me edit it, is something that I, that I uploaded from my machine. And when you do upload files from your machine, they do go into this web-based version. So you do want to have that, but in, in this particular instance, I'm showing you how to install Canvas Workspace for the PC. So to install, you're going to go to support.brother.com and don't worry about all the rest behind here. You don't need all that. You just need support.brother.com. And then when you press enter, the other information will get loaded based on where you're at. So because I'm in the U.S., it loaded English and the United States flag. So it already knew that based on my server. So to find the software, you're going to click on product search. And it really doesn't matter which scan and cut you plug in here, you could put in the scan and cut CM350, or you could put in the S SDX125, which I'm going to put in, or SDX125E. I have all those models. It really doesn't matter because you just need to get the software right now, and it's going to be the same regardless of which machine you have. So go ahead and click on SDX125. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to go to downloads. And then you're going to select, like I have Windows, Windows 11. You're going to select your operating system. That's the OS, operating system. If you have a Mac, it tells you which operating systems it supports. So I'm going to go ahead and select Windows, Windows 11. OK. And then it says machine software. Now, don't be confused by machine software. You don't need that. Well, I mean, you you may, but that's that's hardware for your machine. That's that's something else. You What we're doing for this particular tutorial is we want Canvas Workspace. So the reason I did that other introduction was to show you that that number again. We want version 2.6.1. It hasn't been updated in a while, but that is the current version. 
I mean, there's there's some updates actually, but there's they're not a brand new. All the updates are is little updates. They're not whole new versions of the software. So it says here, Canvas Workspace is an application that allows you to create and edit cutting or drawing pattern data and download that data to your cutting machine. Okay, amazing. So it's 61.2 megabytes and you're going to click here and you're going to install it. So first you need to read, let's speed read the end user agreement. Of course, you're going to read through that. And then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to download and install it. So it's going to create a, an installation file and you're going to just follow the prompts after it does that and it's going to install onto your computer. Now, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. It's a login screen. You're going to use the same username and password that you use for your Canvas Workspace software. So for example, there's my username, Paper Chef. I won't tell you my password, obviously, but that's what you're going to use when you install and log in. So once you're all logged in on your computer, you see this icon that looks just like that. Now you're taken to Canvas Workspace software for the PC. So there it is. These are building projects. These are pattern collections you might have registered. If you have a Disney machine, there's something else there. It says Disney contents are not available here. It's telling you download the contents from the PC or web. There's one more reason to have the PC or the web based version. Okay. So, but there's the projects. Now let's go. It's telling, it's sending me to the web based version. Now these are different activation Disney patterns. Now, if you shop maybe at the Home Shopping Network or Create and Craft TV, I've seen a lot of these types of things bundled with the Disney versions of the machines. And this is where you'd be activating them. Obviously, I'm not, not that I'm not into Disney. I do love Disney, but I have not activated any of those. Now, let's go back to this version. I'm, back, I'm now in the, I'm on the PC and I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm closing this. Now, I just want to show you this. It says untitled, and now this is where you're going to save your files, and and you're going to work with layers. Now, the reason that I think that you need to have the Brother Canvas workspace for the PC is really all about the fonts and the layers. These are the two main features of why you need this particular version. So you're going to click on the text, and you're going to be able to see that all of the fonts from your computer, everything you've ever installed are loaded into the Canvas workspace for the PC version. So that's fantastic. Imagine the design possibilities. But I'm also a Photoshop user and I love working with layers. That's something I was trained with. So I think to me, this is a real benefit. So for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and put something, I'm gonna put a shape here and just sort of fill it in here with a color. And then I'm going to put another shape and I'm going to fill it in with another color. And you can see that there are layers. There's a layers panel. And depending on where you position things in these layers panel, that's how they overlap each other. And then that has to do with when we, when we work with some of these features, especially these process overlapping editing features and other things in Canvas Workspace, then you're going to be happy to have this layers panel to really see what's going on. You can also name and organize your layers, group your layers, etc. Now these shapes here are all the same shapes that are on your machine. These are not any different. These are, these are things that are installed in Canvas Workspace, both versions. The borders, same goes for the borders. They're on the machine. Same with the icons. Now this stamp collection is something that I installed because I have a special collection I purchased in a box, but then it came with a, a card. I guess it was a card or some kind of activation code where I have extra graphics that are part of my stamp collection. I also purchased an embossing kit for the scan and cut. So that's what these are. These are line embossing, extra patterns, and these are region embossing, extra patterns. Where did I register those kits? If I recall, it's been a while, but I re-register them on the web-based canvas version canvas workspace version so i'm back to the web base now so the web based we're going to just summarize this you still need you need to have both versions you need to have the web based version because this in your account here under your machine registration pattern activation 
premium function activation, etc. All of this needs to be done and managed through your web-based version. Both versions have these pattern, well, these, these built-in, I should say, built-in Canvas workspace projects. Both have your projects on them, but the projects that are on this version are different than the projects that are on the version on your PC because both are stored differently. But this is where if you do save something from your machine, as I did here, I saved this butterfly image from my machine, then it goes to the web-based version. Now keep in mind, both versions don't have the graphics that are on your machine. You have to send them one at a time. It's very time consuming. But your your projects, they they don't contain all of the graphics from the machine. Like if your machine comes with 600 graphics, that's not loaded into the software. If you wanted to get them into the software where you can work with them further, then you have to load them in one at a time. Okay, the Disney pattern collections is registered here on this web-based version. Your pattern collections as well. Maybe you have different things that you purchased, they're in here, registered here. Again, your projects are different, Canvas Workspace project. Now, if you were to create a project here in the web-based version, I just wanna show you the text real quick. The text is very limited, just these are your only options. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm not even gonna count them all, less than 20, you have less than 20 types of font, very, very limited on what you could do with fonts on the web-based version. Okay, now going back to the point of this tutorial was how to install the PC-based version. You still have your pattern collect, you have your Canvas building projects and your pattern collections, which are just taking a while to load because my internet is slow, there you go. These are your pattern collections. If you were to get certain machines and they come with pattern collections, like for example, this looks like this one's activated. I activated the one SVG cutting files, greeting card pattern collection. That's kind of fun. I think I need to play with that more. I forgot about it. But here are some that are not activated. These are all the pattern collections. So again, the projects that are built in to Canvas up here, all of, they come with both machines. So do the pattern collections. The Disney only works on the online version. There's text in both programs but the text inside of the web-based version is limited to less than 20 types of fonts. Whereas the text on here, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my, one of my favorites. One of my favorites is Mrs. It's just a great script font. And these are enough, but a quarter. I use this one all the time for my vinyl projects. There you go. So you could see that there's all the fonts installed on my computer inside of this Canvas Workspace version. And furthermore, I can do things like process overlap and weld the text together. And I have to do a little bit more tweaking to get it to weld correctly, but there you get the idea. And I have to do change the spacing a little because there's a couple of little humps, but you get the idea that this, like what can be done with the different fonts if you have a variety of fonts installed in your machine. All right, so I want you to get your account set up on both the web-based version and download and install the PC-based version, personal computer version, and then you'll be ready to go with whatever kinds of scan and cut designs you want to do. This is where you can import SVGs from your computer, SVG files, scalable vector graphics, from ones that you find online, ones that I would share with you or ones that you would create yourself and say from other programs, this is where you can import them and do a lot more. And then after all this is done and you have your designs, you can send them to your machine, which is registered with Canvas Workspace. Again, I have three machines that are registered. Two happen to be turned on right now, but if all three were turned on, when I export and transfer this FCM file via the internet, all all the machines will receive that file and I can do my cutting, drawing, or whatever I want to do with that file. All right, that's all for now. I hope you're going to take some action on this tutorial and I appreciate your attention.